The Charizard UPC is the worst investment of 2022, and here's why. There are certain things we need to consider first. Printing and waves, rarity, and similar products that kind of match the description. Since the printing shortages for Pokemon in early 2020 and early 2022, Pokemon has increased their printing operations and print on demand for Pokemon Center exclusive items. This is a super important point that we need to keep in mind. Let's look at two modern Charizard cards exclusive to the Pokemon Center. Special Delivery Charizard and Special Delivery Bidoof. Just based on what's on the card and how much anticipation there was for it, you'd think that the Special Delivery Charizard would be more valued with Pikachu and a Charizard on it versus a Charizard and a Bidoof. But as you see here, the price dropped from $355 when it was first released to around $53 now. Because of the print and access to codes, meaning that there are more of these Charizards in the wild versus Bidoof, where there was a very short printing and less in the wild and way harder to get the codes. Or even Special Delivery Pikachu to prove the point. Second point, Charizard UPC will ultimately be overprinted. If you compare it with the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection, that wasn't a print-on-demand system. Once it ran out on the site, it didn't let you pre-order more, also millions of bots, and there were no major additional waves. Not to mention that the metal cards, which are more cost and labor intensive, making it harder to reprint. Or the first Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection with Zacian and Zamazenta, though they had separate premium ETB boxes, there was never a major reprint and was super rare to find. This current Charizard UPC has been fluctuating in and out of the Pokemon Center page, but has been available and way easier to put in the cart versus other times. Not to mention other retailers have been given more access to Zelda. And as we're going into the holiday season, it can be assumed that this will be a hot seller. The current print-on-demand system and no metal cards, they can make as many as they want, fulfilling orders without issue. This is the same reason why Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs aren't holding as much value as they used to for previous sets. They are printing as much as they want without repercussion, tanking the price in the free market or the secondhand market. The Charizard UPC will probably be the worst short-term investment of 2022. It's going to be overprinted and it's not going to be rare. Maybe five to 10 years or even further down the line, sealed collectors will pay a good price. But even with the special Zard promos going to flood the market and no extra special packs, you can expect price drops like the special delivery Charizard. This is proof that the only Pokemon that will hold value in the end is none other than Bidoof. Doof, doof.